Okay, class. So now we we'll continue. But uh, what is the process for the solid change to liquid? Okay. So the process we call it as melting, and then from liquid change to solid. Okay. The process is freezing. Then solid change to gas. The process is sublimation. Gas to solid. Also we call it as sublimation. Next, the uh, uh, liquid change to gas we call it as boiling and gas change to liquid we call it as condensation so as you can see here in this figure the color of arrow is red and blue okay the red arrow means that the heat is absorbed so that the process is absorbing heat solid to liquid the solid will uh, absorb heat to melt and also same goes to all the process for the red color heat absorb blue color heat release okay now let's go through one by one melting process from solid to liquid absorb heat okay this is the example ice melting then the butter melt in a pan if you heat, uh, when you heat the pan Okay, for melting, solid absorb heat when heated. The particles obtain energy and vibrate faster. Heat is used to overcome the force of attraction between the particles. Particles move freely when the temperature reaches melting point. Then the solid turns into liquid. Boiling, liquid change to gas but only at the boiling point. And this process absorb heat. If the temperature of the liquid is not reach the boiling point then the boiling process will not happen okay boiling occurs when the temperature of the liquid is equal to the boiling point of the liquid example the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius so if the liquid boil up to 100 degrees celsius so it will start boiling the okay, liquid absorbs heat when heated then the particles obtain energy and move faster that's why you can see the when the water boil you can see the bubble next heat is used to break the bond between the liquid particles okay when the temperature reach the boiling point the particles move freely and randomly and the liquid turns into gas okay next is evaporation evaporation uh, from the liquid state change to gas occur at any temperature okay. evaporation is almost same as the boiling where the liquid change to gas but for evaporation only occur uh, can occur at any temperature while the boiling just now uh, only occur at boiling point so evaporation will absorb heat from the surrounding Okay, next is evaporation occurs at any temperature the liquid absorbs heat from the surroundings the particle obtain energy and move faster liquid is evaporated slowly and turns into gas next is condensation the gas turns to liquid occur at equal or below the boiling point okay equal or below the boiling point and it's release heat Heat is released when gas is cooled, the particles lose energy and move slower and closer to one another. When the temperature is equal to or below the boiling point, the gas will turn into liquid. Freezing, the liquid will turn to solid, occur at freezing point only and it will release heat. Okay, this is an example. Liquid release heat when it is cooled, the particles lose energy and move slower. The particles start to vibrate at fixed position when they reach the freezing point, and then the liquid will turn to solid. Okay, next is sublimation. The gas turn to solid or the solid turn to gas. So sublimation, they skip the liquid phase. The gas directly change to solid, and solid directly change to Yes, this is the example that you can see the naphthalene or this one okay uh, maybe you can see in a toilet okay used to get rid of the cockroach or to uh, 
very fresh the the air inside the inside the toilet. Okay, sublimation is a process in which a solid directly turns into gas or gas directly turns into solid. Okay, next, the temperature and mass remain constant during physical changes of matter. When heated, temperature increase. Temperature will not change when it reaches melting point and boiling point. Heat is absorbed to overcome force of attraction between the particles. When cooled, the temperature decrease. Temperature will not change when it reaches the uh, freezing point. Heat released to form force of attraction between the particles. During the physical changes, the mass remain constant. Mass remains constant because the quantity of particles does not change when heated. Okay, the only change that occurs is the kinetic energy of the particles. So when the solid change to liquid or liquid change to gas, the mass of the substance remain the same constant okay because the quantity does not change only the kinetic energy will change okay in the substance okay this is the graph the heating curve okay so this is the the x the y axis is the temperature in degrees Celsius x axis is time in minute so from p to q okay here is solid uh, once it reach the melting point, it will change, start changing to liquid. So at this phase, okay, at this phase, okay, why the temperature is constant here? Okay, we'll see it on the next slide. Okay, and here also the temperature remain the same when the liquid reached boiling point. Okay, why is it like this? Okay, so P to Q solid. P to Q is here. P to Q solid. The temperature of in of ice increases until it reaches the melting point. Melting of ice begins at point Q. Okay, so the melting of ice will begin at point Q. Okay, Q to R solid and liquid. During melting, the temperature becomes constant even though heating continues. So here, what I've said just now, the temperature constant here even though the heating process is still continue because uh, the water, okay, the water try to gain more energy, okay, to gain more energy to break down the force of attraction between the particles, okay. At this temperature, water exists in both solid and liquid state. RS liquid. All the ice cubes have melt into water at point R. The water temperature increases as heating continues. Okay, S to T, liquid and liquid and gas. Water begins to boil at point S. During boiling, the temperature becomes constant even though heating continues. At this temperature, the water exists in both liquid and gaseous state. Okay, so QR and ST okay the temp the graph is constant like this because the the particles okay the liquid can okay, try to gain more energy to break down the part the force of attraction between them because they need to to break the part the, the the force of attraction and then the last one is the cooling curve opposite to the heating curve cooling curve from the liquid okay liquid when you cool down the liquid okay and then it become uh, once it reach zero degrees celsius okay the melting point of ice so at this point uh it start to become ice okay q to r the temperature is zero degrees celsius P to Q, this is liquid. Q to R is solid and liquid. So it is different and opposite to the heating curve. You can see the graph like this.